I'm really, really proud of the team. On a night when we didn't play particularly well, uh, to find ways to win were, uh, it was find a way to win was really a tremendous accomplishment. Um, I thought RSL was very good tonight. I thought they made things very difficult for us and they were very much on the front foot. And we had to fight. We really had to fight. And I was proud of the fact that we did and we found a way to win. Sorry, Matt Pollard, last word on soccer. Robin, if I hop in a time machine and go back to last Saturday in Houston uh, and I find you and I tell you you're going to win three games, uh, do you believe me? And then what is your emotional reaction to that? Uh, I think I probably would have thought I would never count against our team. But to think that we would have won all three games, I think, is a hard thing to say. That that's definitely going to happen. But as I said, I would never, I would never uh, bet against our team just because the character, the character of the team, the character of the players, uh, they find ways to win. On some occasions, we play really well, and uh, we find ways to win that way. But on the nights when we play poorly, <clears throat> uh, we still are able to find ways to win. Uh, from time to time, and certainly tonight was one of those. Emotionally, I'm, I'm really, really proud. I'm excited. I'm drained. It was one of these where I didn't run a minute, and I was completely exhausted by the end of it. Um, but the the overwhelming feeling is that I'm I'm really proud of the team. Hey, thanks, Robin. And sure. you know, as well, you should be. Um, I'm going to go back early. I thought you guys were, were really did a, did a good job of kind of pushing up fairly high, you know, bringing, bringing Keegan and Austin up, but also um, Mark Anthony in there as well. Um, what were you kind of looking to create in that first half early on with, with the numbers going forward like that? Do you mean defensively or offensively we had numbers high? <clears throat> yeah, offensively. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, we're just trying to put players in positions that can – create a little bit of uncertainty for the opposition. Um, none of that's important if we don't really start our attacks well. And I just felt that early on we didn't, uh, we weren't quite as cohesive as we needed to be on the attacking end. Uh, our turnovers did us in and certainly eroded our whatever momentum we would have had. Um, and we had some we had a few decent attacks, and we had a few attacks that were pretty well crafted. But for the most part, I thought we were not as uh, clinical in starting attacks as we have been. And uh, in the end, that that really hurt us early on. Uh, you know, we definitely got better at that as the game went on. But <clears throat> just one of those nights where things didn't didn't really come off as we would have expected them to. We'll go back to Matt. Robin, on that note, you know, the first half doesn't go the way that you wanted. You know, it could have been down a goal. RSL scores a few minutes into the second half. What were you saying on the sideline? What adjustments or things were being discussed when it was 1-0? What really started? Um, what was I saying? I can't say that in public, <laughs> the things I was saying on the sideline. But uh, what adjustments? We just – we – Change a little bit and how we wanted to build out and occupied some different positions and gave guys some different responsibilities. Uh, I don't think that was particularly stellar either. Um, but and again, it's one of these things where the effort wasn't poor. The effort is never poor. This group never gives a poor effort. We just weren't really good early on, and we found a way to score and equalize and then. I think when the three guys came in up front, they gave us a little bit of energy, and that really gave us a lift for a time period, and we were fortunate to score again. Um, and then after that, it was back to grinding, and we just grinded and grinded and were able to get the win. Hi, Robin. Uh, what were your emotions getting to see Mark Anthony score the game winner? Obviously, you would have taken anyone scoring the goal, but what does that goal say about the newcomer and the way he has been in with the team? 
I think it's it's a great storyline for us uh, that we brought Mark in. He's worked hard since he's been here. He's been in some tough games, and you know the things that he's done on the attacking end of the field have been really nice. His ability to find and and wait a final pass has been excellent for us, and he's he's really put us in some good positions with some of his passing. Uh, and it's just so fitting that he scores a goal that turns out to be the game winner tonight because. He has fit right in. He's a great guy. He, he fit, has fit in really well into the locker room. And um, I think he is, you know, the guys have embraced him and he's one of us. And what a great way to help your new family by scoring the game winner. We'll go back to Matt. Uh, Rob, on emotions, when you're <clears throat> waiting for a big VAR decision that's going to allow, disallow a goal, give a team a penalty, and the final 10 minutes can be stressful, you know, what were you feeling? Did you have a sense of which way either calls were going to go? Gonna go? Uh, for me, I try to not get too far ahead, try to not be too emotional about it, uh, because at the end of the day, I can't control it. And it was a bit of a wait and see, and then uh, our guys were watching the replay, and they said it was definitely offside, and you start to get a little bit of hope, but you don't want to get too much hope. Um, so obviously, once that call was made, um, huge sense of relief and we got a reprieve and we got a reprieve and we had to do something with it and we did welcome back to Brian welcome back to Brian hey, sorry thanks Robert. Um, Robin one last one you mentioned kind of the energy that the guys brought in with Brian and Andre and Johnny um where were they? Where were they improving things other than just basically an energy level? But I, I saw them really doing some defending work too towards those, you know, those nervous minutes at the end too. But where were they helping out? So, Andre gave us some good possession early in some tight spots. Took some fouls, uh, protected the ball really well. Allowed us to sustain attacks. Johnny was immediately threatening running behind, and that puts their defenders on notice. It stretches them up, it stretches them out a little bit. And then Brian was very, very good on on the wing in terms of beating his player, getting balls into dangerous opportunities, getting the crowd involved. Uh, and then after that, all of them, um, you know, particularly Brian and Andre, their defending work was incredible down the stretch. So they really came in. This is one of the things that I, I'm really excited about with this team is that we have a number of quality players who have great character, and they'll go in and they'll fight for their teammates. And it's two games in a row now that we've made changes, and the changes have lifted us. And we feel really confident and, and pleased about the fact that the squad has so much depth that we can make changes and we can continue to kick on or even kick up a level. So... Um, you know, it was really uh, – tonight was very similar to last week where a number of changes came in or a number of changes were made and guys came in and made a difference. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Go back to Matt. All right, and last one from me. Uh, Cole Bassett with a couple of different roles tonight. Started off at least at times kind of in a wing-back role when the team was pushing back to a back five. We talked in the past about his – Versatility. You know, what was the thinking and the game plan for him individually, and how do you think he do with what was asked of him? Yeah, the th Cole has been an important part of what we've been doing all year, and um, he is versatile. He can play a number of different places, and he was asked to play in a different position tonight. Uh, it wasn't completely comfortable for him, but he he went in and did his best. Um, you know, and that's something that I was really, again, going back to the last question, really proud of the fact that. We can put guys in different places. We can ask guys to do different things. We can make changes. Um, and it all comes back to how unselfish the team is. And uh, that's the trait that makes the team really enjoyable to work with. They're very unselfish. They'll do whatever is asked of them. Um, you could say the same of Andre when he came in tonight. He played in a couple of different spots. And he just did whatever he needed, whatever was needed defensively, because he knew that that's what was going to win us the game. Hi, Robin. Um, uh, Brian Galvan got into the game tonight, played a few good passes, and obviously the, the assist. What did you see out of him uh, these last couple weeks? Yeah, 
Yeah, Brian has really – It's this is the way it is for when a new player joins a team. A new player, a young player joins a team. They – it takes time for them to assimilate. It takes time for them to earn a coach's trust. And um, – Brian this year has done nothing after his injury, has done nothing except earn trust. Earn trust from coaching staff, earn trust from his teammates. And uh, what he came in and did tonight was, you know, another example of that. I've played him in a couple of different roles. He doesn't complain. He just gets on with it. And where, what it, wherever he is asked to play, he does everything he can to help the team. And tonight was no exception. He went in and gave us some really valuable minutes as a right winger and created the goal and created some other chances and then ended up playing as a left wing back to help close the game out. And you ask him to do it and he just does it. And that is the thing that is that has made this team where, where we are today, has put us where we are today. It's an unselfish group and every single thing I ask them to do, they just try to do it to the best of their ability.